All around Africa, you can find women carrying really heavy things on their heads, especially right here in Guinea-Bissau. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. They're so sweet. Since ancient times, way before the wheel was invented, many people, most notably females, have transported goods on their heads for maximum efficiency. Women can effortlessly carry heavy loads up to 70% of their body weight without putting any pressure or strain on their back and shoulders. It's absolutely incredible to witness, and I can't help but wonder, how do they do it? Well, as I discovered, it all comes down to one word. Balance. Ask her if it's difficult to carry that on her head. The difficult part is put it in on, and once she has it, she just stays straight and she can walk normally. Sometimes she's got an even bigger, bigger, bigger plate. This is normal. Just... Could you imagine holding 20 pineapples in your hands? That's just impossible. This lady is doing it on her head effortlessly and smiling. Oh, we drew a crowd. Merci beaucoup. Okay, thank you very much. For me, it's really fascinating that you can carry heavy things on your head. I want to know how do you balance it? Il a dit c'est vraiment formidable que tu peux balancer ça sur ta tête. On m'a appris ça depuis que j'étais toute petite. Ah, oh, since she was a small child, she learned to do it. She said it's not difficult. She will tie this thing on your head and you can put it on your head, it's no problem. So I'm in Guinea-Bissau and I'm gonna try to hold, um, is it water? Rice on my head. Rice on my head. Oh my God, that's heavy. <laughs> That's so heavy. <laughs> so here's the thing. I can't do it without my hands. I have so much respect for these ladies, seriously. In other news, I'm finding Guinea-Bissau to be super chill. This Portuguese-speaking nation is a lot more laid back than my previous three countries of Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. We're just coming from Conakry, Guinea, which is a madhouse and completely different feels on the streets. And here, I already feel comfortable walking around, taking pictures, and everyone just seems so relaxed. It's very, very chill. Little corruption, very kind people, and extremely quiet streets. I'm standing on the main road in Basau and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and there's nothing around. It's so strange. The capital called Basau has a lovely church, a nice market, and dozens of abandoned colonial buildings that are so photogenic. It's been a relaxing few days here and I will always have nice things to say about this humble country. Africa might be my favorite continent in the world because it's so diverse. You have so many different people doing so many different things, so many smiling faces, and it's just life in a very raw, original form. It's amazing to me how they transport goods on their heads and it explains why their posture is so good. It's just interesting because back home we almost never see that but here in Africa it's just completely normal so that's the beauty of travel. Alright guys thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. All around Africa oh. <laughs> All around Africa, you can find women carrying things on their heads, especially right here in Guinea-Bissau. Obrigado. Obrigado. Bye-bye. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.